be able to criticize film, to look uh, carefully and critically at them and to reflect on them. And I think this is a wonderful uh, instrument to do it. So we're very glad with them and I know they are exhausted, but this will be their last show for the festival. So uh, have, have a great time. So please come forward, the members of the Movie Squad, uh, 2010, Max, Edin, Rose, uh, Julio, and continents. We were busy from early in the morning until late at night. <laughs> we judged the films upon many aspects, like music, camera, and acting. We chose three favorites, which was very difficult because of the variety in films we saw. It was difficult to make a comparison, however, in the end, we have reached our decision. Even kijken. Uh, de first nominee is Alamar by Pedro González Rubio. The thin line between fiction and documentary made this film quite unique. It made a big impression on all of us. The director made a good use of beautiful location and try to show the audience as much of the nature there as possible. The main character in this film is a young Nathan. You'll think it will be hard to act in a realistic way at such a young age, but he proves it's not. The film is quite close to being a do documentary, which seems to have helped the boy to remain very real, although a camera was pointed at him the whole time. Also, we were touched by the way the director portrays the feeling of the father towards his son. Second nominee is uh, <laughs> Tué et ma mère by Xavier Dolan. Uh, this is not just a film but a piece of art. Uh, the film has a very recognizable team, uh, which we are sure a lot of teenagers can identify themselves with. And uh, the director combined um, all film elements in the best possible way like uh, music, use of different colored images, and dreamy scenes give the film something extra. Uh, moreover, the use of poetry gives a depth to the story and helps explain the behavior of both the mother and son. <coughs> All right, the, the third nominee is A, made by uh, Michael North and Tobias Lindholm. A story that takes place in prison that definitely gives you the shivers. From the first moment on, the combination of the intriguing music and uncertainty of what is going to happen makes the film really thrilling. Although you do not see all the horrible details, the sound and idea of what's happening gives you the creeps. Your own imagination is enough. Also, this film has a good balance between humor and horror. 
Uh, we thought it was really hard to make a final decision, and if it was possible, we would have both Alamar and uh, Jetu and Mamer the winners, but we had to choose one of them. And the winner is... Jetu and Mamer! <laughs> Uh, we will look at J2A Mamma. 